Okay, today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Ninja Foodi Dual Zone Air Fryer. My kids have been pestering me to get one of these for ages. So today we're gonna to do an unboxing, we're gonna try it out, and I'm gonna give you my verdict. So without further ado, let's get air frying. Okay, so today we're gonna to do an unboxing of the Ninja Foodi Dual Zone. This is the 7.6 liter air fryer. So let's see what you get in the box here. So the Ninja Foodi Dual Zone 7.6 liter air fryer, as I said, mix and match meals with two independent cooking zones. So each zone here, each sort of tray cooks separately and you can sync them up as well so that they finish at the same time if they have different temperatures or different timings, the food that you're cooking and all of that. 2470W Ninja Food Foodi Dual Zone Air Fryer up to 240 degrees centigrade cooking temperature, a crisper plate, there's two crisper plates, non-stick for easy cleaning, six customizable cooking programs, or one touch control, chef created recipe guide. Mmm, tasty family favorite. Uh, okay, so I said two independent zones here, air fry or roast, cook different foods ready to serve at the same time, 75% faster than fan ovens and 75% less fat. Max crisp, air fry, roast, reheat, um, dehydrate if you like your, your dried banana chips. Bake, and you do baking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's about it. Let's get on with the opening then, Clive. Okay, so we're gonna open the box now. And then we've got here some details on here all about the, the sink and the match. So this basically allows you to sync up the different cooking times of food, or you just match it and they finish, you know, say, I don't know your chips are 20 minutes and your chicken's 20 minutes and it finishes at the same time. Or this example, for instance, if your chips are 30 minutes and your chicken's 20 minutes, you just set the timing, put it on sync, and then they finish so they're ready uh, at the same time. So basically just kind of instructions and stuff that uh, on there. So there we are, you, in here you get your Ninja Foodi Dual Zone Air Fryer. Quick start guide, good. And then instructions, slightly more, I guess, longer instructions. Oh, so this has got loads of recipes in it here. You can see chicken fajitas, some spicy roast potatoes, sweet potato sausage mash, spicy Italian hot dogs, loads of stuff. Fried pork potatoes, haddock croquettes, roasted salmon, oh my Lord. Anyway, all good stuff. Um, well packaged there. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for the big reveal. Let's turn it around the right way. And there we go, the two drawers. Just take that off there, is that one on here? Holding the drawers locked. And then in here you've got the, this is the sort of crisper plate, I think. It allows air to circulate underneath the food and sort of that. Apparently this can go in the dishwasher, although it's metal. And I'm worried the, the salt in the dishwasher will chip away at the non-stick, but apparently, apparently it does. And it, it sort of slides in quite snug. There's sort of rubber feet on the, on the side makes it fit nice and snug in there. That's quite interesting. Yeah, all this is is just the card keeping it in place, but the same again in here. But you see what I mean? These little rubber feet here on the side here, keep it nice and snug in there so it won't rattle. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I suppose we want to see the unpeeling of the final bit. Oh, no, there we go. For all the unpeel fans. Oh, didn't quite do it in one. So you can see it's quite a hefty size. I don't know where we're going to put it, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm brutally honest. Do we put it by the Nutribullet? Do we put it by the toaster? Do we put it by the pancake maker, the, the omelette maker? Do we put it by the kettle? Do we put it by the coffee grinder? Do we put it by the coffee machine? Do we put it by the rice machine? 
So many kitchen gadgets. Anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, bit of a plasticky top. This is plastic here, this is not metal. Don't be fooled, this sort of silver chrome stuff, it's sort of a plastic. Um, this is much more sort of, more solid plastic. But yeah, there you go, as I say, round the back, not much to see, just the air vents. So just bear in mind where you're gonna put it in the kitchen because you're gonna have the you know oily smoke and heat come out the back. So probably put it near where there's decent ventilation, just like you would if you were cooking on a stove or something like that. But there you go. And then on the side here, just some information on crisping chips and recommendations for timings and heatings for various types of food. Dual zone technology. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the Ninja dual fryer. I guess the next thing we need to do is dual fry some things. Okay, so we're gonna try it out. Nothing too sophisticated to start with. We're just gonna go with some uh, chips and I've got some katsu chicken tenders here. So we're just gonna go with that. So let's switch it on. Put that on there. Right. So first thing it says, got the destructions here. Place the food in the drawers. So this handle he says on the back, it actually has instructions for air fryers. Not all frozen chips will, but this does, so that's cool. And it says on this packet here, preheat air fryer to 200 degrees centigrade. You don't have to preheat this. Fill the basket halfway. Well, we'll sort of guesstimate. Hopefully we've got the chips, enough chips, so. Hopefully that's enough, so there we go. Chips in that one. According to the destructions, that's going to be 12 to 15 minutes, okay? Then the chicken tenders, it says if it's not in the recipe book here, the timings, it's got all the timings for loads of different food types here. It says if it's not in it, then just go buy what it says for an oven, but reduce the time by 20, uh, 25%. So these are 200 degrees centigrade. What's this? 200 degrees centigrade, 200 degrees centigrade, and it's 15 to 20 minutes. So if we say 20 minutes, then take 25% off, 15 minutes. So just put these tenders in. They're gonna have a certain amount of oil within them already, so uh, no need to spray, but if it was just, you know, chicken breasts on their own, you probably just sort of want to coat them with oil or something. So we'll just put those in, spread them out a bit. And there you go, put them in. Put that one on as well. Uh, do number one first, and we'll air fry 200. Great, and then we want that one, and we want uh, time, we're gonna match it. And we want the time, I said, there are, they're going back. Because I match, press the match. See the timer? Goes on both of them like that, you see? Whereas if you put it on sync, obviously you do it independently. Okay, so we've got them there. I uh, think we've got the temperature right. Yeah, 200, same there. We match the temperature. And there you go. So we'll see how that turns out. There we are. End. So we, let's have a look in the drawers. Oh yes, you see the, uh, they look nice and tender. Maybe a little bit shorter time, but we did, um, we did go for the max time and then deduct the 25%, but you live and learn. But I think that looks really nice. Let's have a look at the chips. What you need to do is they recommend that you sort of give it a shake halfway through and the doors are configured that when you kind of open it, it stops the timer, so you can shake it. Oh, they look nice. And then put it back on and it starts again. But they look all right, don't they? Some of them look a bit at the top. Maybe I didn't shake them enough. Again, probably a bit longer for those, but it's, most of them look all right. Because the thing is, you taste it. Woo. Oh, they're nice chips, those. They're like fish chop chips. Fish chop shop, fish pop pop. Fish shop chips. Right, well, let's serve that up.
Okay, so there we go. I've added a bit of katsu sauce uh, on the top. Normally, obviously, we have the katsu chicken with rice, but you know, we're testing out the air fryer. So overall, it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, some of the chips are done, but s some aren't. So definitely, um, it needs uh, a bit of trial and error, I think, and because this is the first time, and a um, bit more of a shape uh, to make sure that they, they get all circulated or maybe don't fill them so high. But most of the chips look really nice. Okay, so I've had the Ninja Dual Fryer for a couple of weeks now, and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. It was a bit of an extravagance, but I'm so glad I got it. I've cooked chicken in there, I've done burgers in there. I haven't baked anything in there yet. I haven't done like any cakes or brownies and stuff like that. But just your sort of standard stuff, southern fried chicken stuff, your chips of different types, as I say, the burgers. I managed to fit three burgers in here, three quarter pounders in one of these trays, so that's quite good. And they came out really, really nice. Um, I was really impressed with them, very juicy, succulent, kept their juices and all of that. Cooked really well, kids loved it, worked a treat. So overall, as I said, I'm super impressed with the Ninja Jewel Fryer. In terms of pros, as I said, super convenient. It's really convenient in terms of speed. You're cooking the food at like 75% of the time required, so you're saving yourself there. There's no preheat required, so you know if I was gonna cook it in the oven, I have to have the oven on for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes as it preheats to the right temperature. None of that. So literally, it takes you 15, 20 minutes, depending on what you're you know, cooking, 15, 20 minutes, and you've got a meal cooked, piping hot, beautifully cooked, perfect, really, really good. So in terms of the convenience, really love that. The other thing about the convenience is cleaning. As I say, I've cooked in here chicken, burgers and stuff like that. And you can see there, if you focus on that, you can see like there's not, not a mark in that. Now I don't use the dishwasher. As soon as it's cooled down, bit of soap and water, bit of sort of, you know, scrubbing with your kind of your light washing up brush comes up a treat. And it's, you know, as I say, I've cooked burgers in here, I've cooked chicken rubbed with peri-peri in here, and it's spotless. It's so easy to clean, and that's another major kind of benefit of this overall. In terms of cons, it's pretty, I find it pretty hard to kind of find things which are wrong with it. What I'd say is, this is not the biggest version of the dual fryer that you can get, but it's very big. So, as you can see, from my selection of various items here, if the cameraman is showing them, <laughs> you've got to have, I've got a lot of kitchen gadgets, you've got to have the space to put it. So bear that in mind, and it's quite tall. As I say, there's a bigger version. And talking of size, yeah, this is probably perfect for a family of three, I would say. I think if you're a bit more than that, you probably want the larger size, the 10 litre size, something like that. But it, it's serving my family really really well this doesn't get too hot on the top actually and obviously you need ventilation space but there's not a lot of kind of heat that comes out the back um overall but yeah i think just the size bear in mind you think about the size of your family as i say if you've got a, if you're cooking for four or more you probably want the larger version but in terms of quick snacks and stuff like that is it sort of an if it's an addition to your oven and all of that absolutely perfect just one top tip as I found out, when you do the chips, make sure you do them on max crisp and not air fry. And max crisp gives them a real, well, you know, maximizes the crispiness of them and they turn out really well. Well, there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you're new to my channel, Aragata Gozaimus, do me the massive favor. Why don't you hit that subscribe button toggle that notification bell and that way you'll know when I go live with content just like this. And talking of content just like this, why don't you check out the content over here, these videos here. Cheers.